Blair SS, so I think that's spring show. I want, so I'm thinking, whatever. Show y'all the process of doing French seams. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am making a sheer dress inspired by Terry Mugler's um, 1999 spring fashion show. And I'll put a photo up here. I think that this is a great DIY with warmer weather coming up especially as we head into summer because you could wear the dress with like just a slip dress underneath or some shapewear or you could wear it as a cover-up for a bathing suit so I just think it's a really great project and I made it out of a curtain so you could easily thrift one and make your own so I hope you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on my social medias and let's get into it Okay, for this week's video, I'm going to make this dress. It's Mugler SS, so I think that's spring show, <laughs> 1999. Um, I really liked it, and I also saw someone say that it could be, like, really cute for festivals. Obviously, I'm not going to any, like, Coachella music festival or anything, but I thought it'd be really cute. So, um, I'm going to draft the pattern by pinning a sheet on me so I can actually draw out what I want and then transferring it to, to paper. So I'm gonna get ready and do that. Okay, I have the bed sheet pinned to me, I think for the most part. So I'm gonna just draw out what I think I want. So I'm thinking, whatever. I'm thinking four panels in the front. So um, this kind of should come over a bit more. And I'm using my erasable pen just in case. I get anything on my actual clothes so line down the middle and for the front I think I want it to come down to like my mid thigh um, and then my side I think it'll come up a little bit higher since it does swoop up um, so yeah I'm just gonna start drawing this out where I think different pieces should go down the central side. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that might be a good place for it to come up and then I'll adjust it after um, I take it off and cut it out. <laughs> And then we're gonna, this will come to the side. And since I'm gonna do two panels, I'm just gonna cut right down the middle. Well, draw right down the middle. <laughs> um, since the back is definitely harder to do, I'm just gonna kind of wing it. And I'm thinking for the back, just doing, um, dang. <laughs> I'm thinking for the back, just doing like two pieces. I'm just gonna mark where I think the midpoint is. So I'm thinking for the back, just doing two pieces. Um, I couldn't really see the back in the photos or the video because I watched the video the wrong way. But yeah, so I'm thinking piece here, piece here. It will go down, come up, go down, come up because I want to make sure it's long enough to cover my butt. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna transfer it to paper.
Okay, I cut out the pieces. Um, I extended the bottom two inches, so just in case, because I don't want it to be too short, then added seam allowance, so. Next thing I will do is cut out the fabric, which I will show in a second. I got, I think it's like a curtain. It's like a sheer curtain. That's what I'm gonna do, and I'm probably also gonna make a slip to go under it, <laughs> um, since it will be sheer. Okay, so this is the fabric that I'm gonna use. It was a curtain that I thrifted, so I'm gonna get ready and cut it out. And as you can tell, it is very sheer, but I feel like it goes with the vibe of the dress. Okay, I have all the pieces cut out, so now I'm going to sew them together and show y'all the process of doing print seams. Okay, so I just ironed the seam down so right now it's right sides together so then I'm gonna sew so I inch like trap as you can see like the edges so then um, they won't be seen on the other side. Okay, I have all of the dress sewn together. Um, I think it's big enough that I don't need a zipper. Like, I think I should be able to fit it over my head. So I'm just gonna do one more French seam and that'll be done. So the French seams are like super tedious, but I think it looks pretty good because um, I don't have thread that would match exactly if I were to have used the serger. So I think it makes it look neat, especially given how sheer it is. So I'm gonna finish that and then I'm gonna get ready and hem the top so I can put on the straps. I'm making the strap by, I have a needle on the ironing board and then I'm putting the fabric through it and then ironing it down and then afterwards I'm gonna fold it over again and iron and then sew it. Okay, I'm gonna cut a rectangle for the ruffles. I'm gonna do two and it's gonna be about 75 inches long because I think the like circumference of the bottom of the dress is about 55-ish. And then I'm gonna probably do it about four or five inches wide because I'm gonna hem it before I ruffle and put it on so it can be about four inches um so yeah okay i made both the ruffles it was a little hard because the fabric is fraying a lot so there's like one spot where like the thread actually came out but i have them both pinned so i'm gonna sew it down and that'll be it also since it's so sheer and i probably should have double lined it it would have been sheer either way i have a brown slip dress that i thrifted that i'm gonna that's too big but i think i'm gonna make my size so i can wear under it
Thanks for watching. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on my social medias and I will see you next time. Bye guys.